age 16, Brooke Henderson is already a veteran of the Spirit International. Oh, it's an amazing experience here at the Spirit for sure. The time at the camp, it's always so much fun. There's so many activities to take part in, and you get to know all the other countries and your own teammates really well. You get to play an amazing golf course, Whispering Pines. It's so beautiful and immaculate condition. Two years ago, as soon as I left, I wanted to come back, so I was really happy when I got the chance this year. And it was quite a busy year for Brooke as she had some major accomplishments. This year I was able to win the South American Amateur and then I was able to win the Canadian Amateur as the youngest person ever. So I was pretty happy about that. And my world ranking uh, went down from 30, I believe, at the start of the year and it's now 9. So it was a big improvement and I'm really happy about it. Someone else who's happy about Brooke's success is her dad, who played a huge role in introducing Brooke to the game of golf. He taught my sister and I both how to play, and growing up I watched my sister play in tons of tournaments. She's seven years older than I am, so I'd, I'd be pretty young, but I'd be walking the fairways and just watching her, and that's how I learned how to get to the ball in the hole. But for Brooke, it wasn't always about a ball in a hole. Growing up in Canada, her first sport involved a puck and a net. I played ice hockey for eight years, so it was a lot of fun, and I miss it, but I like golf better. <laughs> After making Team Canada for the first time, it became clear to Brooke that she had to make a choice between hockey and golf. I'm actually a goalie, so I packed away my pads and uh, started picking up the golf club year-round. Maybe it's a result of all that hockey, but Brooke is definitely a big hitter. My real strength is off the tee. I get it out there pretty far, and I think I only missed one fairway this week, so it was pretty accurate. Uh, it gives me a good chance to hit the green and hit it close. And I'm definitely working on my short game and improving my putting stats, but it's a work in progress. Displaying a maturity beyond her years, Brooke takes everything in stride, whatever happens on the golf course. I'm pretty relaxed, I think. Um, definitely, I do have a little bit of a temper and a little bit of a mean streak inside, but I try not to show it as much as I can. And, um, just try and forget about bad shots and move on to the next one. The future looks very bright for this 16-year-old. I'm really excited for the next couple of years and hopefully I can keep improving in that world ranking and hopefully uh, some year down the road I can play professionally and have a good ranking there too. And with such a positive, down-to-earth personality, Brooke is sure to enjoy every moment of her promising career. I love just, just being out on the golf course, everything from the nature and uh, I love competition, so I love being able to play. And With golf, you really get to know your playing partners really well, where with other sports, you don't really get to talk to them that much, so it's, uh, it's a great sport. It's no surprise to learn that Brooke joined the LPGA in 2014. Looks like the sky's the limit for this native of Smith Falls, Ontario.